All right, let's dig into this monstrosity. <laughs> we have a special guest joining us today, and this is Bucky. Good morning, it's another beautiful day here on the Big Island. We left the Kona area this morning. We're now in Waimea, and we're going to explore the more northern part of the island, go on a little hike, check out some viewpoints. Should be really fun. Yep, but first, Always first is coffee. We're tired. <laughs> For coffee, we came to Waimea Coffee Company and we're just kind of keeping it boring this morning. I got a way too hot French press here, <laughs> but it smells delicious and an Americano. Which I put way too much half and half in because it came <laughs> barreling out of the thing <laughs> and I was not expecting that, but it's really, smooth and creamy and delicious. This shop is in a cool little location. It's like a, it's probably really old looking. It's like a little U-shaped courtyard here and they have shops along the side and they have like an artist over there. There's a dentist yeah. there. <laughs> so in case so, you need to get your teeth cleaned while you're in Hawaii. A little bit of everything. <laughs> but they have a nice little outdoor seating area for the coffee shop as well as some seats inside. Yeah. It's really nice and cute on the inside. It's yeah. very wooden kind of old school like Hawaiian type feel. Yeah. Um, they also serve food but we are gonna save our appetites because we're about to have ourselves a nice little Hawaiian breakfast. Oh, okay. <laughs> For breakfast, we came to Hawaiian style cafe. I was actually dreaming about this all night, actually, <laughs> because of uh, this thing here. <laughs> like twice the size of your head. Yeah, this thing is. I just want to put my. <laughs> so this is a uh, banana macadamia nut pancake. Looks. Uh, uh, I'm gonna destroy that here in a second. <laughs> but the other, my other favorite part about this meal is this is like one of my favorite breakfast combos. So these are the best hash browns. The crispy on the outside, mushy on the inside. But then you take the egg and you put it on top and you cut it up and you mix it together and it's the best. And then you can't come to Hawaii without getting the Portuguese sauces and they make this here, right? In-house. These are in-house Portuguese sauces. This is a spicy one. <laughs> oh, Alright, let's dig into this monstrosity. <laughs> That's what dreams are made of. <laughs> That's so good. Okay, I had to wave the white flag. <laughs> I admit defeat. I couldn't couldn't finish it. Half of it's my mom's. Yeah, half of this is yeah, but uh, half of it's mine. So. So as we promised at the end of our last vlog, we have a special guest joining us today, and this is Bucky. Oh my gosh, my new best friend, Bucky. <laughs> He's very excited. <laughs> he, Bucky's very excited. So something we learned about on Maui is that you can take shelter dogs out on a field trip and we've always wanted to do it. We just never have had the time. So I made sure that on this trip we could take a dog out on a field trip. So we came to the Hawaii, I'm out of breath, this dogs are a lot of energy. We came to the Hawaii Island Humane Society in Waimea and we're taking little Bucky out for a hike and a really fun day. <laughs> I've already almost cried about five times seeing all the dogs, so this is like the best idea ever, but also the worst idea ever. Oh my goodness, do you wanna go on a field trip? Let's go, come on. All right, we brought Bucky on his field trip to Pololu Valley. There's an overlook here where you park at and then you hike down to a little beach area. It's a 1.2 mile round trip and about a four to 500 foot elevation gain and loss. <laughs> <laughs> the drive over here was gorgeous. So we drove from Waimea and you take this road and it kind of felt like the road to Hana at times. It was kind of windy. There was some farmland. There was just beautiful scenery of the ocean. And then you drive up to the lookout point and there's all of a sudden all these beautiful cliffs and there's this beautiful like valley with ridges. It's like it's, bam right there. Yeah, <laughs> it is gorgeous over yeah. here. I think I've been most excited to explore the next few days of our trip a lot more than naturey type stuff versus the beach and this is just getting me extra pumped and to have Bucky with us. Oh, oh I can't stop smiling about so having much Bucky fun. with just us. Just having him in the car was so much He fun. slept on my lap almost the whole drive. I love him so much. <laughs> Yeah. 
This swing is sketchy. <laughs> So this area is home to the Kahala Volcano, which is the oldest of the five volcanoes on the Big Island. And it last erupted about 120,000 years ago, but many hundreds of thousands of years before that, there was a massive landslide and part of the volcano fell into the ocean, which is why there are all these awesome cliffs in this area right here. Yeah, it's a big, pretty big, beautiful beach. It's got black sand. Uh, there's not a lot of people out here, so you can kind of spread out, kind of do your own thing. It's not your typical come down and lay out type of beach, but Man, it's really cool. The waves are crashing in. You got the cliffs over there, cliffs behind you. There's this valley with this yeah, there's a, river. I'm not really sure, like a yeah, sort of water feature. Yeah, we're not sure if the water's like coming from the mountains or if it's the ocean water going up, but yeah. it's, it's beautiful. This is a really gorgeous spot. It's free to access. Yeah. It's close to some other really cool spots on the island. So definitely check it out. I love it. It's And I think Bucky loves it. Yeah. So Bucky. <laughs> Bucky's enjoying the sand. Bucky um, does not enjoy the, the ocean, we've learned, but that's okay. I think he's right. still enjoying his Yeah, he's there. having a good time. <laughs> So bring a lot of water. Absolutely but, dripping. It's a scorcher today. Oh my god, we are so soaked. I was feeling famished from our hike and very hot, so I got myself three shave ices. Just kidding, they're not all for me. But we're at a place called Original Big Island Shave Ice. It's a little food truck, I guess is what you could call it. It's parked in different spots, different days of the week. So today it's in this one spot, but check their website. They have where it'll be on what day. We got three between all four of us. And I had to take a photo because they're very unique and interesting. So this one right here is my parents and it looks incredible. It's called the Trini Chantilly. It has like mac nut ice cream, chocolate shave ice, condensed cream, chantilly drizzle, whipped cream, and chopped mac nuts. And then this one's mine. It's called the No Lonnie's and, and I actually didn't take a photo of what it actually said it was, but I know it has like mango shave ice. It has coconut ice cream. There's like a condensed milk, some sort of goop on top that looks really good. <laughs> And then this one is Adam's, which we are sharing all of these. It's the Kim Ross special. It has ube ice cream, coconut shave ice, coconut topping, and mochi. Looks good, we've never had ube before, so I'm excited to try this. Bucky's trying to steal the shave ice. It's no longer sunny shave ice weather. We just had that hot hike and we were drenched in sweat, <laughs> so this sounded really good at the time, but now it's like overcast and a little breezy and it's kind of cold. It's always shave ice weather though. It's excellent flavor though. Is it soft? Oh yeah, it's like a cloud. Get that ube. I'm going for the ube. It's purple. Oh, cool. It's potato delicious. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we had to drop our boy Bucky back off for the shelter. It's a sad time right now. <laughs> it was really hard. Yeah. I knew it would be hard, but someone 100% was cutting onions back there and made it even harder for me. And just seeing him back in his little cage made me really sad. And I knew I'd get attached and I knew this would be a hard thing to do, but it was also a very rewarding thing to do, just getting to take him out of the shelter for a day and show him a fun time that he may not get normally. And just give him tons of cuddles and love. So I'm heartbroken. But I also feel very happy that I had my time with Bucky. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely worth it. Take him out. It was fun having him on the hike. You know, get him some exercise, get him some exposure to like the real world. Yeah. And then when you drop him off, you leave some notes uh, about how the trip was and like for someone who's going to take him maybe on another field trip or hopefully someone who's going to adopt him. So 
Yeah, it's a really neat program. Yeah. And like we said earlier, we believe all the islands have it. So if you're coming to Hawaii, check it out. You know, spend just a couple hours taking them somewhere really cool on the island that you want to experience, and yeah. then they get to experience it too. And if you live on the big island and you're looking for a friend, <laughs> I'm hoping Bucky's not available by the time this video gets posted. And, but if he is, please come adopt him. Yeah, he's the he's sweetest sweet. dog. And if he's not, there were tons of other cute dogs there. And I'm sure the other locations have great dogs. So give them a home since I can't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so even though our day with Bucky is unfortunately over, our day is not over yet. We have one more adventure we're going to go on if the weather holds up for us. Yeah. <laughs> our final stop of the day is Waipio Valley Lookout. And similar to the Polalu Valley that we were at earlier, it's just down the coastline from it. It has a very similar view of the cliffs and a beach below, but it's down farther and it's looking the other direction. So we were trying to debate, should we go to one or the other or both? We chose both and I'm glad we did because while they are kind of similar, they are slightly different and you can't get enough of these beautiful Hawaii views. No way. <laughs> so if you're short on time, you can park your car and hop out and just check it out from the overlook or you can hike down the steep road down to it or drive down to it. Yeah, so the road down, if you want to drive, is four wheel drive only. So keep that in mind. We just saw a Jeep go up and it's one way. So you have to like move out of each other's way if you Looks want to drive hairy. down there. <laughs> and if you walk down there, you're walking down where the cars are. So also keep that in mind. <laughs> So we think a storm is about to roll in. I heard thunder, I saw lightning. I think I felt a few <laughs> raindrops. So I don't think we're gonna go down to the bottom, but the view from the lookout is top notch. Yeah, if you could only do that, if you only have a few minutes to spare. I mean, the, the drive to get this, to get to this takes a little bit of time, yeah. but if you only have a few minutes to spend here, the lookout is still worth sure. checking out. We're gonna continue our drive because we're now headed to our Airbnb in Hilo, which is where we'll be staying for the rest of our trip. But we're gonna take it easy tonight, so it's the end of today's vlog, but tomorrow we're gonna explore the town of Hilo, eat some tasty stuff, check out some waterfalls. It should be a really, really yeah, fun I can't day. Wait. <laughs> so we'll see you then. <laughs> Good morning, howdy neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we brought <laughs> brought Bucky. You want to sit? You know, sit, sit, I don't sit, sit. <laughs> I love you. <laughs>